Well, I mean, the first time I came here, I think it was about seven years ago, maybe. And, uh, you know, I thought it was really hip, you know. People seem to know about dance music. It was quite a mixed crowd. Um, I mean, I think Asia in general is, is pretty hip where dance music is concerned, so I'm not worried about that. But, you know, every gig is important as the last one. <laughs> Doesn't matter where it is. Well, I used to DJ when I was about 19 at this club called Planets, which was a kind of new romantic club in, in London. Um, I got the job because I was the only person who... My friend, my friend ran the club, and I was the only person he knew with lots of records. So I got the job as the DJ, and I think I got paid in drink. I think they paid me with alcohol. And then, of course, I became a musician, and it, it really in about... 89, 90, I started to DJ again. It's when the Acid House thing exploded in the UK. Dance music was really exciting, much more exciting than pop music. I was kind of bored of pop music. I'm still bored of pop music, really. <laughs> you know, when I started making music, you know, I wanted to change the world. And I think for a brief time, I did change the world. But um, I don't think people now who make music want to change the world. They just want to get rich. They want to drink champagne, they want to hang out with girls with no clothes on. I mean, you know, it's a different agenda now. So, I mean, you know, my motivation, I think now is the same as it was when I was 19. You know, I, I still want to change the world. I think, still think there's a lot of work to be done, you know. Well, you know, when I, when I write, it's usually from a very personal perspective. I write about things that I feel strongly about, emotional things, political things, sexual things. I very rarely write songs that don't have a meaning. I think it's really important that if you write something, it has a message. So I'm not really a kind of pop writer. I don't write to order. I write what I... I express myself. I think that's what real artists do. Is that snobby? Yes, probably. Well, I don't get up in the morning and say, Good morning, Icon. How are you? Would you like some tea? Um, I mean, you know, those things, you know, all those kind of labels, you know, successful, failure, icon, I saw, all of those things, they're not things that you say about yourself, you know. You don't say those things about yourself. All, all I would say right now is that I'm very lucky to do what I do. I'm very lucky to have the job I have. It's not really a job, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a gifted life, you know, and I, I get to do the things that I love and... People pay me for it. It's great. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> Do you want this job? It's great. <laughs> Everybody wants this job, you see. <laughs> um, well, you know, you have to kind of balance, you know, physical work, you know, traveling and, and doing live gigs with, with having enough time to create things. I work with a whole team of people. Uh, one of the most important people I work with is a guy called Kinky Rowland who produced my album and I do dance stuff with him. We, we do a lot of stuff virtually so I might even be receiving a mix of him uh, for tonight. I have tried calling him but I haven't had an answer because I'd like to play the latest thing that we're working on tonight. Um, so yeah, it's, it, it, it's just always a balance, you know, but um, I work with lots of different great people and, and, you know, create great things. Well, at the moment, I have a new album out called Ordinary Alien, which you can get on iTunes. It's very cheap. 99p a track, the bargain. Um, I'm about to release a new single called Turn to Dust. There are mixes by David Jones, Boutique, Christy Angelus. It's a very exciting package. And then I'm working on a kind of reggae project, which will be coming out hopefully in the next few months too. So lots of busy stuff, you know, touring, and uh, next year I'm doing a tour with Culture Club. Hopefully I'll come to Asia with Culture Club because we're celebrating our 30 year anniversary. So lots of exciting new things coming, lots of music. I'm Boy George, and this was Dance Signal. Dance Signal.